happy 2022 to all of you. Thank you so much for stopping by. For today's video, I wanted to kind of touch on some of the interior design trends I think we'll be seeing a lot of this year, but doing it in a DIYable way. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started with our first project. One of the design trends that I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of for 2022 is Wabi Sabi. And I actually saw this DIY done on TikTok, so I wanted to replicate it myself. So all you need is a plate, and I picked up that plate from the Dollar Tree, as well as some PVC one inch pipes. In the anthropology image, there are four holders, but because this plate wasn't quite as flat, I just decided to do three. I also picked up a couple different paints from the craft store and I'm gonna do a combination of these, but before I paint this piece, I wanna make sure that I glue down those PVC pipes to the plate first. So that way everything is like one solid piece before I apply all of the paint. I just decided to use hot glue for this project, but I believe in her tutorial she used crazy glue, but I'm sure you could use something a little bit stronger like E6000 if that is your preference. For the placement of each candle holder, I kind of just used the circles on the plate as kind of like my like rough guide on how far out I needed to go and how far each one needed to be spaced apart from one another. I also glued from the inside of the pipes just to make sure that everything was really well solidified underneath. And then, like I said, I went to the craft store, so I'm starting off with some brown paint, and then I'm going to add the gray paint, and I wanted to make it almost like the color of clay. When talking about a wabi-sabi design aesthetic or a design style, I think it's important to note that it feels a lot like minimalism with the exception that there is this acceptance of aging and imperfection and there seems to be less contrast and much more warmth. And as we are all still spending lots of time at home, I think it is a design trend that is going to be here to stay. After I got the color that I was looking for, I then added the baking soda. And again, this is just something I eyeballed. I probably did about a tablespoon and I mixed that in as well before applying it to our piece. And to apply the paint, I'm just using a small craft brush that I picked up from Michaels. I do recommend using a higher quality uh, paintbrush for this sort of a project because the Dollar Tree brushes tend to shed quite a bit and you don't want that in a project like this one. Another thing I wanted to add before you start painting, make sure that there are no hard, like hot glue strings hanging off of those pipes because that will make painting this piece a lot more challenging than it really needs to be. So just take the time to remove all of that excess like dry glue. And then I just kind of made small little arches just to kind of make circular motions so the entire plate was covered. And this was how it looked after one coat. And then I ended up doing two more coats making it three coats total. Overall, this project was really easy to do and I think I definitely was able to achieve that wabi-sabi aesthetic with this piece. For the second project, I know that rustic decor was very popular in 2021, and I think it is here to stay for 2022. And for this project, I really wanted to make a small little riser for my kitchen. We've recently gotten new countertops and I want to protect them because they are quartz countertops so they can be a little bit more work, a little bit temperamental. So from the Dollar Tree, I picked up these two pieces of wood. The wider one is what will be the top, and then the longer, thicker one is what I want to make my little legs for this riser. So I'm just measuring the top piece so I know how long I'm going to need to make the cuts in this longer piece of wood. And to cut the wood, I'm actually just going to use my miter saw, but if you don't have a miter saw, I'm sure a hand saw or a circular saw would work out just fine as well, or try to make a different configuration using things that are already pre-cut at the Dollar Tree. And to attach the legs to the top piece, I'm just gonna use some hot glue. Um, you could use wood glue, you could also use E6000, crazy glue, whatever you have on hand, I think would probably work just fine. And I'm just 
applying those legs just towards the outer corners, um, leaving just a little bit of space. I love little decor pieces like this because they're obviously not necessarily essential, but it's a great way to add rustic decor into your design style without it being overpowering because it's such a small little piece, but it's definitely something people would notice. And now I just wanted to distress it further. The wood was actually already pretty distressed, but I just wanted to take my hammer to it, especially to the corners and to the edges, just to soften it a bit because it was feeling just kind of really like harsh. Um, so I just kind of took the side of my hammer and went all around the perimeter of this little riser. And it actually really does make a difference. So if you want a true like rustic feeling riser, I definitely recommend doing this step. For the stain, I ended up going with this gel stain by Minwax in Walnut, and I have really been into and have been seeing a lot of just different tones of like dark brown in home decor recently, and I really love that look a lot. And the reason I went with the gel stain was because I think it's just less messy and you obviously wanna do, no matter what stain you're using, you always wanna do whatever you're doing in a well-ventilated area. So if you're doing it inside, make sure you're opening windows and things like that. But um, I'm just applying one even coat throughout the entire little riser to make sure everything is really well covered. I ended up only having to do one coat of everything to get the color that I wanted. Wood risers can be oftentimes really expensive, especially if they are true rustic or vintage antique risers, and I was able to create this one for just $2. The next design aesthetic that I think is here to stay for 2022 is a modern design aesthetic. And for this, I really wanted to create a bubble vase. And I have so many of these clear ornaments left over from Christmas. And I decided that this might make the perfect thing to make a small scale modern bubble vase. To give the ornament something to sit on top of, I actually grabbed this PVC pipe when I grabbed all of the supplies for the first DIY. I grabbed this one as well, so the ornament would be able to sit upright because it's not, it doesn't have a flat bottom, it's rounded. So I just applied some hot glue and then I glued that to the very bottom of the ornament, leaving the top part exposed so it could function as a vase. But before I add the copper pipe, I wanted to paint this a color, not black, not white. So I decided to go with this chalky finish, anvil gray, that kind of looks a bit navy, as you can see on my fingers, cause it exploded everywhere. I love this little modern vase. It was so easy to create and also so affordable. And another trend I'm hoping to see a lot more of for 2022 is traditional interior design style. I found these amazing organizers at the Dollar Tree and as of now, they're just $1, but I know that could be subject to change here very soon. And so I stocked up on these ones and I got a bigger size and a smaller size and I wanted to kind of make these feel a little bit less Ikea-like and a little bit more traditional. So I found this hardware actually at the thrift store and it reminds me so much of hardware I had had in my kitchen growing up. So I decided that I was going to add these little knobs to the top of these canisters and I love a mixed metal moment right now. So to do so, I'm just going to take my drill and I'm going to kind of measure the screw that I'm going to need to make the hole for the knob and it is really that easy. I could have chosen to paint it all one color, but I really liked the mixed metal look. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of it, but this is just such an easy way to just kind of up the ante on a typical Dollar Tree product. And that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys liked today's video and I hope that it gave you some inspiration into design trends that you should be seeing this coming year and an affordable way to achieve that look for much less. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.